Hi everybody, it's Keith from Bob CNC, and I'm here today with my best friend, Bob. <laughs> what? That was cute. I yeah. thought it was pretty I'm good. laughing on the inside. <laughs> You're crying on the outside? <laughs> hey guys, uh, we've had some questions about home switches. Yeah. So we're going to talk about home switches. Yeah, why not? Let's talk Which about home switches. Which is what I've got right here. Well, you have a home switch that's not even in production yet. It's really close, though. It's, how, how close it's operational, is it? operational. How close is and it? And it works. It gets about that close. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yeah, I thought it okay. was. Oh, so I have an E3 and an E4 home switch. I have a KL series home switch. Okay. So, um... Yours is mechanical. Yours is a Hall Effect. Hall Effect. Whoa. Okay. I read about that. <laughs> well, that's yeah. great. I'm sure that you that's can give me an answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first thing is, is, what does a home switch do? You know, why do we have them? Yep. Uh, if you're new to this, it's really pretty easy. When we connect the computer to it, we want to drive the CNC axis axes to a known location, right? So um, it's going to just axes. drive. Actually, yeah. Did you? you axes. No, it's believe, axes. believe it or not, it's plural. It's axes. Holy. Axis man. is that one axis. Sissified. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. He, but it's a, I would think. All right. Go ahead and drive your educated <laughs> like yourself would know the difference. <laughs> anyway, I didn't know the difference either until okay. I learned that in school really? somewhere. Yeah. Holy mackerel! Uh, yeah. You must have paid a lot <laughs> for that education. Anyway, yeah. so back to home switches. Yes. So really, what they're designed for on a CNC machine is to drive it into a known location. Right. So that you can either set soft limits, which is nothing more than in the computer or the firmware. In our case, it sets a limit to where the end of the travel is for each axis of right. the machine. Or uh, just so that the machine understands that it can go this direction and not that direction. Not so important if you have uh, limit switches, which are different than home switches, in the fact that they stay active during the program. And then if it bumps into them, it just stops the machine. Okay, so uh, you I can... Would we ever use limit switches? Well, actually, I don't like limit switches, and this is why. I got a Bridgeport mill, and if I'm cutting and I get the harmonics just right, it trips the switch. It's got like a false signal, yeah. and it thinks it's hit it when it's not even any close to it. The reason I love home switches only is because I can home the machine. The computer knows where the limits are, so I still don't go past them, right? And the home switches are out of the circuit when okay. the CNC is running, so you don't get that false triggering. Okay, so it's something that you'd only use in an industrial setting. It's a safety mechanism? Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, if something goes wrong, you don't want a machine that has lots of power to drive past its axis because you break stuff. Right. right? With like yeah. the E3, the E4, or even the KL7 because it's got an alarm signal, which we can talk about at, a, a, if, at the end of this if you would like. Uh, it, you basically stop the machine. It's not going to hurt it. The uh, E3, the E4, you guys have heard it, I'm sure, if you've driven past it. You get a grinding sound, but the stepper motor is actually just skipping poles on the inside, so it doesn't hurt it. Okay. So there's two ways that you can wire a home switch. There's probably more than that, the, the, but I'm going to cover two ways. There's the normally open switch and the normally closed switch. Now, uh, we wire the E3 and the E4 normally closed, right? And the reason we do that is if it's disconnected, it doesn't work because the circuit's open, right? So it, it thinks that it's been activated. Or... If the uh, um, switch wire breaks, sorry, lost my oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah this brain I, I, that's went. All. Whew, it I needed a break. You, yeah, yeah. A, so uh, yeah, if the wire is broken, it would be the same thing. You would right. get open, so you would know that your machine. So if you did it the other way, where it was normally open with a simple mechanical switch, right, then it would actually have to close. So your switch might be broken and you don't know it. So we wire them normally closed. And so that you know that. Now, you have a Hall Effect. Yeah, and these are wired normally open. Yeah. Why? Yeah, well, these actually have a 5-volt power supply. Okay. And then when the magnet gets close to it, and it does matter which way the magnet hits it. You or when you're see it, it, but it's a rare earth magnet. Right. So once it gets close to that, it actually gives you an LED signal on these, which is I really like. But it sends a signal to the board saying that it's, it's, it's closed. So if these fail, right, they will fail either in the open and the closed. So it doesn't really matter. So okay. we're sticking with the uh, normally open because that's the way that they're set up. Okay. But uh, uh, for this, it's the same thing. It's just a home switch. It's not a limit switch. 
So when you home your uh, KL7 series, it will go ahead and uh, uh, be out of the circuit from that point on. So they're only used for homing. So that's the home switches. Uh, the one thing that we did discuss though on the KL7, we are using servo motors. And if the servo motor cannot tell you where it's at by its encoders, it sends an alarm signal back to the controller saying, hey, you said I was supposed to be at this position. I am not, so therefore I'm shutting down. And it shuts down, and it actually turns the, all of the uh, um, stepper motor drivers off. It's like hitting the reset button, if you will. So uh, that's a, an emergency uh, feature that, that, that'll that help it help you out when it stops. With the stepper motor system, and I think uh, you've seen this on our Facebook, or if you've used your CNC very much, you've seen this where all of a sudden something happens and you lose steps, whether it's a loose belt, something got in the way, right. where it just grinds across your work. Uh, in theory, that won't happen with the KL7 because it will pop that alarm. Well, actually, we've done that a number of times. We have forcefully stopped the gantry right. from moving. Yeah, yeah something that you don't want to do, something that no. we were doing for testing. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, it was kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways, you have uh, any other questions about home switch or uh, the, the things that we do on controllers? Uh, please uh, shoot us an email at shoptalk at bobcnc.com. That's it. All right, guys. Have a good day. Yeah. Till next time.